Hey everyone, and welcome to this video walkthrough. What I want to demonstrate is how we can use a Zoom call, like what we have going on right here, but if I want that second monitor feel, and it oftentimes is really helpful like in a, um, in a class setting where you might want to see your material on one screen and then kind of see your students still in kind of grid mode here on your main laptop, the process I want to walk you through is using Sidecar to be able to do that. So what Sidecar allows you to do is to take your iPad, connect your iPad with a hard connection like the lightning cable directly to your MacBook, and then once that's connected, what you're able to do in Zoom is say that you'd like to use dual monitors. Now before you set up Sidecar and connect that to, to your MacBook as your second monitor, you need to get into the settings of your Zoom account to turn on the dual monitor setting. So to do that, here I am in the Zoom MacBook app, I'm going into the little settings preferences here, and you can see under general, we have use dual monitor. So make sure you check that off first. Once that's checked off, then you can kind of continue and finish off this process of connecting your iPad via sidecar to your Mac with that hard connection to act as that secondary monitor. So if I have content that I'd like to share with my students, instead of having to pick my screen on my laptop to share, which doesn't allow me to continue to see them, I can pick content from my second monitor, which is really my iPad connected to Sidecar. So to do that, I'm going to open up Sidecar on my Mac. Now my iPad already has a hard connection to my MacBook. I have the hard wire plugged in. Now the device I'd like to use is my iPad. So we'll see a little bit of a flicker. And what just happened was, is my iPad is now connected to my MacBook. So what I'm able to do now is actually take anything that I want and kind of drag it off to the left-hand side and drag it over onto my MacBook. So if I had a presentation that I wanted to share, I can put that over onto my iPad that's connected to my Mac. Then when I'm in Zoom and I select screen share, what I'm able to do is kind of grab that content from my second screen and share that out to my group. So you can see here I'm in the Zoom call right now. So if I normally did screen share, my option would only be able to be able to, I could pick my desktop or pick any program that's running. But now that my iPad is connected over here with Sidecar, I can actually select my iPad to share. So I like to have my content next to me over here. And then what I like to do is still keep the students or my participants in front of me in the Zoom call kind of in grid mode. So what I'm gonna do right now is open up, maybe I have a set of slides, for example. So I'll open up the slides on my MacBook. And if this is the model content that I'd like to share, what I'm just gonna do is I'll call this Sidecar Zoom Demo. Sidecar Zoom Demo. There we go. So I'm actually gonna take this and drag it over onto my iPad right now. So I'm actually gonna jump in and I grab a, a second video shot for you so you can see what it looks like. My Sidecar is set up in my preferences to be to the left of my MacBook because that's where I'm going to drag everything. So let me get this video going to kind of show you what this process is gonna look like. So we have this here, I'm capturing this. This is from my MacBook. I'm simply gonna drag this tab out, drag it over right now. And as I drag it over, you can see here, it's appearing on my iPad. So now that's on my iPad, I can resize this and kind of make this fit the way I would like it to. So I'm just doing a little bit of resizing, make this fit appropriately, just resize a little bit more. I could probably do that more efficiently, but there's my resize slide. So this is what I'd like to share when I'm in my Zoom call because I don't want to lose this student view right now. So now that we're ready to kind of do this, uh, the screen sharing, same way you'd always do this in Zoom, I'm going to tap on screen share, but this time you'll notice, instead of me sharing from the primary device that I'm on, you'll notice in the top left hand corner, this is titled one, that's like my primary screen. My iPad to the left of me actually has a two on it, that's like my secondary screen. So I'm going to pick to share my desktop two, which is my iPad connected with Sidecar, and I'll share that right now. So what's really nice about this setup is if we have multiple users or lots of users inside of the Zoom call, I can still see them all here on Zoom on my desktop. Now it's just me in the call right now, but if we have had multiple users, like I said, 
we'd be able to see all of the users that were listed. I can keep the chat open if I'd like to kind of manage that on my laptop. I can see all of the participants on the screen, but then to the left of me, and I'll go with another live video so you can see this all. What I have in front of me right now, here's my laptop, right? There's my Zoom call. Then we have the participants window. And right next to me over here, that are my slides on my iPad connected with Sidecar. So as I advance and work through those slides, I can kind of take my cursor from my MacBook, just drag it off to the left. It keeps going. That now appears on my iPad and I can advance through my slides, make any adjustments or changes if I need to and click through my content. And the benefit here is like I said, I can keep an eye on my material here that I'm presenting, but always kind of see what's going up on here on the call. Now you could totally flip flop this the other way as well. I might absolutely decide to have my participants on my secondary monitor and we can do that as well. So let me stop my screen share for a second. So I'll stop my screen share, we're back here. I could absolutely take my participants window right here, drag that over onto my iPad and then keep my material that I'm presenting on the screen if I want to. So for example, if I really want to present this and have this on the screen, but what I'm gonna do instead is take Zoom, drag this over onto my iPad, right? So now I would see the participants in Zoom, but from my iPad, from my MacBook here, this is where I'll do the screen share, for example. So there's a few different ways to manage this. It's kind of up to you which one you're kind of more comfortable. My preference is I like to keep my participants in front of me, keep my material off to the side. And again, that's simply by connecting your Mac to your iPad with a hard connection and then running sidecar to connect those two devices. You can see up here in my, in my toolbar way up top, my iPad is still connected, right? I can disconnect that. It breaks the connection between my iPad and my MacBook. And now my iPad is just right back to itself. So I hope this is helpful. It kind of solves that problem if you don't have a second monitor, but you happen to have an iPad, and now your iPad essentially acts as a second monitor in any live Zoom call. So good luck with Sidecar, and I hope this helps out for your live instruction.